what is up guys um so i'm back with another one uh essentially this is a calendly growth hack quote unquote it's not that much of a growth hack but it serves as a pretty adequate data source at the end of the day um pretty cool for retargeting especially if you're in b2b in some cases if you're in b2c if you're doing businesses with other businesses like suppliers distributors etc and you just want to get those calls coming in pretty easily at the end of the day and it's more of a retargeting thing and it works really really well if you've been using Calendly over a extended duration of time so if you've been using Calendly for let's say one year or two years or three years the longer the better essentially and the reason behind this is that Calendly keeps all the data of all the people that ever scheduled a call with you so if they scheduled a call with you back in 2015 Calendly still keeps that data directly on the event so one of the best b2b retargeting tricks that you can essentially do is export all that data which i'll show you guys how to do right now and then plug them in into a retargeting campaign with a campaign with a, a copy something like along this line essentially and note that you do get the first name because let's say if you go on my calendly right now so that's calendly.com slash inside the inside uh, in order to book a call with me people have to fill out the following questions so they select the time uh, they choose their time zone etc let's say 24th 3 30 confirm and then they have to fill out name email whatsapp business website how do they find us target market and then you can also add a couple of other questions essentially which just gives you more meat on the retargeting campaign itself because you then have more information but first name and last name is something that you most definitely have so this personalization variable is there if you include that and have something along this line of like hey first name how are you uh doing my typical calendly follow-ups checking to see if blah 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 and then you have a couple of like brief lines with regards to how things have progressed over the time or what you're offering right now or a new service line or even like a um even like uh what's it called a uh, case study at the end of the day just some some lead magnet in order to get those calls in if you can do that you're going to get appointments directly from a calendly retarget run essentially i've tested it a bunch of calls came directly through that i do it now once every three weeks or four weeks i've got an asana task for it and there's a reminder directly for it so it's just, it's systematized um now to do this essentially uh you log into your calendar itself and as i mentioned you do require a calendar that's been around for like i don't know a minimum of six months for this to be effective uh you click on the event itself and then you click on oops you don't click on the event you click on event types you click on it what am i doing you um Go on scheduled events, and then I always mix this up. You click on past, and then you click on export. Once you click on export, essentially you'll have a zip file, and then this zip file you can essentially export it right here. And then if you go on events export two, which in my case is that, and then you open that right up, you have all the data of all the individuals that ever hopped on a call with you. So that's the username, that's the event name itself. You get their invitee, first name, last name, their emails, and uh, their location, and then the answer of the answer that they provided. So in this case, we're collecting WhatsApp numbers as well. So that means that we're able to retarget them through that way. And then Skype IDs, a bunch, literally. So essentially, that's that. Now, uh, one heads up with regards to this, even though the emails are pretty warm as opposed to anything, because there's been a time span and a duration of let's say these people like let's say they scheduled a call with you one year ago it's still like part of best practice to validate the emails the bounce rate won't be so high but it will be around 10 percent so in order to minimize that back down to like the the 0.0 percentile use super email validator which we covered in depth in a bunch of videos um if you have any questions about where to download it ask in the comments below and i'll link it but i think you have it my point 25 is closed on this connection but if i turn over to hotspot it's open um use super email validator to basically pre-verify the emails and then either plug them into gmas or lemlist at the end of the day so lemlist is going to do the automations one by one with like a timeout of like five minutes in between and gmas is going to blast them with a mail merge tool all at once etc you can schedule it and then you can basically get aws uh, so that's amazon's web service for the simple email service 
and then you can blast 20k at a time essentially and have your own email server for free pre-validate the emails always uh, from a copy perspective i think we covered it like pretty solidly uh, get a copy that's not transactional more of a follow-up type of thing anything that's new any new developments that have happened since you last spoke include them in the copy itself whether you started making content uh, whether you got a new website etc include all of that like just a, a brief update at the end of the day and retarget at the end of the day because no matter what some of the best leads out there are going to come from follow-ups at the end of the day that's where the i've got to stop saying at the end of the day at the end of the day <laughs> some of the best leads are going to come directly from follow-ups so if it's people that you've spoken to before they already know you it's not as cold right you could possibly include a follow-up sequence in this scenario as well through gmas it's just a auto follow-up so it can follow up in a day just to make sure that they got this email and uh, yeah it's like an instant warm list so no scraping required no automations required super simple export take and then get it up into a google sheet plug it into gmas get the variables right and then include a in this case the cta so the call to action so here we've actually included the the b2b growth hacking channel inside inside and then here it's like open-ended cta is there any way we can add value essentially so there wasn't even the calendly cta it was more like is there any way we can add value just to get the conversation going as opposed to anything um but normally like best practice is let's get a call booked for tomorrow uh book a time that suits you calendly again that's that um